pimple gone. Pimple down, pimple dried out, and yeah. They ain't tell me to do this, but that's how I do it, okay? You really rubbing that thing in there. It's not like if I wash my face harder, my skin is gonna clear up quicker. It's really, that's not the way it works. So I understand people just be putting water on their face and going, okay? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 14 of Vlogmas. Today's video is going to be about my skincare favorites. If you don't already know by the title, I have a couple of favorites here. Um, some are missing because I have them at my boyfriend's house, so I don't have them here. But these are still my skincare like staples right now. I um, haven't really changed much about it. I'm a very like simple person. My skin just likes simplicity. I cannot have too much going on on my skin. I can't have too much skin washes and too much face washes and all of that. Like I cannot do that. So currently these are just my staples. Like the ones that I pick up the most when it comes to like my face and um, yeah. Like this is not like everything that I have and everything that I use, but these are just the items that I pick up the most and I found myself picking up the most over the course of the year and these, you know, last couple of months. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with washes. The skincare that I use, all the skin wash system that I use all the, t all the time is the three-step skin wash, pre-cleanse, cleanse, exfoliate, okay? So I use Dermalogica, which... <laughs> At this point, you guys, it is so washed off. It doesn't even make sense for me to show you guys this. Let me go ahead and show you guys my new. Understand how real this is. Like, I literally used it to the point where... I've used it to the point where, like, it washed off. You don't even see anything on any of these stuff. I start off with the pre-cleanse. So I start off with Dermalogica's pre-cleanse. This bad boy I have been using for years. I literally have not used another pre-cleanse since I started using this. I used to use Pure Tropics pre-cleanse, um, oil cleanser. Um, and that was like the first thing that introduced me to, like the first company that introduced me to oil cleansers and then washes. Um, but this pre-cleanse is just, it, it smells amazing. The smell, the scent is not overpowering. And I just feel like it just gets the job done. And once you apply it, it applies, it takes off like your makeup, all types of dirt and impurities. I like to massage my face for about 30 seconds to a minute if I could. Probably a little bit longer depending on my day and just kind of do like a gasha type of massage into like my face and stuff to kind of like set my day. Um, and then once you add water, it emulsifies to become like a milky consistency. The smell of this kind of reminds me of, the smell of this reminds me of Fruity Pebbles. Um, so yeah, I just, I love this stuff. And honestly, if you use enough, enough, of, enough, if you use enough of this and you massage your face long enough, it will help unclog your, pe your pores. It will help unclog your pores because oil attracts oil. So oil attracts to oil. So you want to use this long enough to kind of, open up your pores not open but soften up your pores warm up your pores so that way the oil sebum that is stuck within your nose your face your pores are able to be pulled out with your oil cleanser that is the main purpose of oil cleanser i know yes some people use it a lot of people use it to remove your makeup i am gonna use mine this one tonight um but you can also use it to help decrease oil buildup in your face because oil loves oil it attracts the oil sticks the oil and all of that oil don't like water though it don't like water that's why it'd be hard to just rinse your face and go i don't understand people just be putting water on their face and going okay so the next thing that i use is the special cleansing gel by dermalogica as well okay so this bad boy i have also been using for years um if you guys did not see my how to get glass skin video i will link that video down below um i sh showed you guys in that video that i had a very bad breakout a couple of years back and Dermalogica, my cousin was using Dermalogica. She had like a brand deal with Dermalogica and she had me use some of the small travel um, sizes and baby, that was the only thing that cleared up my face. And I was so, I used a Peter Thomas Roth wash and I was super happy about it because my face looked poreless. But what I didn't realize what I was doing was I was stripping away my um, protective layer. It's, it's a specific layer i can't remember the name of it but my protective layer of my face which caused my face to be more prone to dirt bacteria breaking down 
um, getting into my skin and causing my skin to break out. And that's exactly what happened. I had a photo shoot, the makeup, the brushes, everything. The following day after that photo shoot, it was my cousin's wedding breakout crazy okay it was a crazy ass breakout and then like two three years later the same thing happened again when i try to switch up my skincare routine and go for wa uh, face wa face washes that were much harsher and more towards more cater to oilier skin and more acne prone skin um it's really really important to know your skin type and not to be out here trying everything that works for everybody because something that works for me may not work for you and like if you have acne prone skin, I do feel like special cleansing gel, the special cleansing gel by Dermalogica can be used by anybody, sensitive skin or not. It is more of like a foaming agent. The water is what allows it to foam. It's not a soap, so it's not stripping. Your skin doesn't feel dry after using it. And that's why I like to use it because anything that's too harsh for me, baby, it does the adverse effect and literally makes my skin go haywire. So I just stick to what I love and what I know and that's that. And I'm sharing it with you guys now. The next thing that I use is my daily micro exfoliants, a rice based powder. Um, and it activates when it's once it comes in contact with water, it has salicylic acid and rice enzymes. Um, and it also has also has a brightening complex of phytic acid from rice brain, white tea, licorice, um, and collodial oatmeal and allantoin to calm the skin. I it's literally something that I use every single day. I use it morning, night, depending on what it is that I'm doing. Like if I wash my face at night, a lot of times I just use the special cleansing gel a little bit and then I wash my face with cool water and I go out the door. But at night is where I really go ham with my skincare routine. Um, but I do use a daily micro exfoliant all the time. If I'm at home, like during quarantine, I was using it morning and night and there was nothing that it, it didn't do anything to my skin. It didn't, the micro the exfoliant is not super abrasive like they said it is rice so but it's like small broken pieces of rice so it's not gonna like scratch your face or anything unless you're like scratching you know what i mean like you really rubbing that thing in there like forcing it then you might have like little scratches on your face but you shouldn't be that abrasive when you're washing your face anyways like it's not like if I wash my face harder, my skin is gonna clear up quicker. It's really, that's not the way it works. So literally just use a light pressure and wash it in circular motions, wash it around your nose, you know, help that salicylic acid to sit there. What I like to do is kind of let my, um, let the daily exfoliant sit a little bit, like for like 30 seconds or so. So just let the salicylic acid activate a little bit and then I wash it off. That's what I like to do, it's my little secret. They ain't tell me to do that, but that's how, they ain't tell me to do this, but that's how I do it, okay? <laughs> so the next um, wash face cleanser that I'm going to mention is the Tula Cult Classic. This is a small baby, but my big baby is at my man's house, so I ain't got it with me. But this is a small baby, and this one is just, it does what it needs to do. It clears your face, it's super gentle, it has um, prebiotics and probiotics, right? Yes, it has probiotics inside of it and superfoods inside of it. Um, and I just feel like it just works really well. Like it's a simple face wash that doesn't have too much going on and it just gets the job done. Um, that's why I enjoy this and that's why it is in one of my favorite cleansers because I just love it. Another honorable mention is the Kiehl's Calendula, Calendula Foam Cleanser. I enjoy that cleanser as well. I just don't have it with me currently. I'm always running out of that stuff because I literally use, I use everything, like all these cleansers, I kind of use all three of them throughout the week depending on whatever I reach for first. But these are like my staples. But the Kiehl's Calendula Cleanser was like my first cleanser um, after the Dermalogica that I purchased and that I enjoyed for my face. So yeah, that is definitely an honorable mention. Same thing, it is more of a foaming agent, does not have soap in it or any like drying, you know, ingredients in it or anything like that. Um, so I will always be a consumer of Kiehl's cleansing wash. My back is hurting. So the next thing that I want to go into is toners. I only have one here because my other one is once again at my favorite's house. It's so annoying. Um, but this one is the Glow Recipe PHA plus BHA toner. I love this stuff. Like this is my favorite cleanser by far. Like it's a pore tightening cleanser, a hydrating and pore refining cleanser, but it's just my favorite cleanser 
by far as you guys can see like I use this all the freaking time and once I'm done with this I'm gonna buy another one I got a small one from um, influencer to try out and I just love the way it made my face feel look um, after like a week of trying it I just loved it like my face just looked poreless and I just feel like with that with all of my other products it just works very well into my skincare regimen so I just stuck with it and I stood by it and I'm gonna stand beside it till the end of time now the next one that I want to mention I don't have it here but it is the fresh um rose water toner I love it because it's definitely it's simple it has you know the little rose petals in it um it helps hydrate my face and sometimes I would like I'm somebody like when I get out the shower and stuff I want to make sure that I I do my face routine first before I touch my skin. So sometimes I find myself that I'll forget to um, continue on with my face routine and I'll only have the toner on and it's just my face just looks super hydrated and I just love that. So I just, the fresh rose water is something that stays in my staples. So between that one and this one, I really go kind of like back and forth depending on which one I want to use that day. Um, it's not like I stick to one and be like, okay, I'm using this for morning and I'm using that for night. It kind of just depends. Uh, honestly, I mainly use this for night though. So a lot of times I'll use this at night and I'll use the fresh water for a day. But that's like about the only thing here kind of that I kind of do that with. Um, but sometimes I mix it up and I use this at daytime and I use the other one at night. It really just depends on what I have and what I reach for at the moment and that's that so the next thing that I want to go into is serums so honorable mention I keep on I ran out of this one though this isn't at my man's house I just ran out of it it is the it's the honey glow pharmacy um serum um glow resurfacing serum so AHA is an AHA resurfacing serum so AHA is basically a chemical exfoliant yes so it's a chemical exfoliant I use that one particularly only at nighttime that serum I only use at night so I'm gonna put her right here but I only use her at night and I love that one as well because if I have like a breakout or a small little pimple that I want to come and pop I'll literally put that serum on and I'll go on with my face moisturizer um, well I'll start with toner put the serum on go with the face moisturizer and seal it with my oil and by the next morning pimple gone Pimple down, pimple dried out, and yeah. So I just love that. It's really like something that I stick by. If I love something and something works for me, I stick by it. And that's just that. I may add a couple of like new things in there just to kind of, you know, confuse my skin a little bit. But my core basics is still my core basics. And the next serum that I want to mention is the Dermalogica Biolumency um, Serum. This is basically a vitamin C serum um it helps with like dark spots and fading dark spots there are better things that you can use for that but i just find that i don't have that much dark spots i do have a few around my cheek area from previous breakouts it's hard to see because i am of darker skin tone but baby trust me it's there but they are starting to light up with time so i'm very happy about that but i just love to use a biolumency it just helps my skin glow so much more um and yeah this is also not sponsored by Dermalogica at all you're gonna find a lot of Dermalogica in here but it's just because I truly do love Dermalogica I am a brand ambassador by for Dermalogica and Tula however I really do love these products these products I'm not just feeding to you guys just to feed to you guys these are literally my favorites like I am not bullshitting you guys whatsoever if it's not in here it's not my favorite you get what I'm saying like if it's not in here it's not my favorite period now the next um it's not really a serum it is actually an oil it's the claudalee vin active overnight detox oil i discovered this a couple of years ago i was going for a job interview at some job i forgot where it was but it was in lower manhattan and i went to sephora because i always go to sephora for no reason and i was looking for something that would help like detox my skin i was less this is when i was like kind of like going into finding a skincare regimen and one of the um girls there told me about this detox oil and she was just like it literally like literally rejuvenates your skin and resurfaces your skin overnight and i use this every night and I just find that my skin just looks so beautiful in the morning. I feel like my skin seems hydrated. Um, and you know, oils seal, seal in moisture. So I like to end my skincare routine at night with an oil. I be looking like a glazed donut. But baby, this glazed donut at night be looking like 
honeydew in the morning okay like i be looking so moisturized and glowy i just love how supple my skin feels and i find that whenever i also have like those little small breakouts whenever i use this in combination with the honeymoon glow that helps with the breakout lowering as well and if i don't have the honeymoon glow this does a really good job as well by itself um i will be leaving them in the links to all of these products down below so now the next thing that i want to get into is my mask okay because i have two masks of up here yes i have two masks up here um one of them is not really a mask but i use it as a mask because baby it has to do what it has to do the indian healing clay mask this mask well it's not a clay mask it's just a deep pore cleansing yeah it is a mask um i use it with the apple cider vinegar like everyone else and this just does what it needs to do like it's not really much that, needs, that people need that i need to say about it it just gets the job done like if i have a breakout that's usually why i always use any of these products but if i have a breakout or something my skin is acting a little weird or my pores isn't as clear as i want it to be this just does what it needs to do like it draws out all of those impurities by the next day after using this my skin just looks porcelain porcelain okay not porcelain porcelain flawless okay the next thing that i'm going to talk about is the katula detoxing and toning face mask stick um this honestly is basically like the little sister to aztec street um clay, healing clay mask it also has mediterranean clay in it so it literally is almost the same thing but just in a stick form and i love this because i love to travel with it so i can definitely um put this on it's so much easier i don't have to sit here and try to like put my whole concoction together um and i just use this all over my face let it sit for like 15 minutes and i wash it off and my pores are clear my skin just feels refreshed it just feels tight and i just put on my moisturizers and everything and i call it a day so the next thing that we're going to talk about now is my moisturizers my favorite moisturizers so i have a couple okay i have a couple i'm going to start off with my day moisturizers um the first thing is going to be my dynamic skin recovery by dermalogica of course because i just love dermalogica i cannot not love Dermalogica. They just literally just understand the assignment every single time. There's not a time that I have used something from Dermalogica that did not that did not sit well with my skin. Um, I just love Dermalogica. I just love the glow that this leaves as well. And it also has 50 SPF. Please put on your sunscreen. If you ain't putting on sunscreen, baby, come on. I used to be one of them girls I used to think that, oh, because I'm melanated, I ain't need sunscreen. But we are educated enough now to know that even us, we need sunscreen, okay? It prevents premature wrinkles. It, pre it prevents the hyperpigmentation, further hyperpigmentation. And most importantly, skin cancer, we can get it too. We can get it too. Like, why would you want that? You don't want no sunspots on your body either, okay? I am someone who gets sunspots. I have a sunspot right here. Um, I have another one that's on my leg. I am somebody who gets sunspots. If my skin is too exposed um, to sun, I get sunspots. I don't wanna get that on my face. I don't and I try my best to make sure that I'm always using sunscreen I have a um sun sun bum and I have another one oh sun bum and banana boat um these are like the sunscreens that I like to use on my body so I try to make sure that I'm using sunscreen all the time all over my body just because I just want to prevent anything that I need I can prevent okay whether it's wrinkles hyperpigmentation whatever I just want to prevent it okay the next one that we're going to talk about is my Tula SPF now this baby right here this bad boy right here she understands okay it has it's a UVA and UVB protection so it also protects you from the blue light in your phone and this only has 30 SPF but honestly I think I believe I may be mistaken once you're over like 30 SPF everything else is kind of like not really doing much of a difference um but this helps for it the UVA the UV lights in the uv rays from the sun and also your blue light from your phone your camera your lights whatever i love this stuff and it also leaves like this beautiful glow it has a small little i don't want to call it glitter but this small illuminescent pro 
products in here that just leaves this beautiful glow on your face when you hit the sun with no makeup on baby your skin look gorgeous and using it as a primer under like before you put on makeup and everything just really makes your skin look so glowy i love this stuff like i will not stop using this stuff this is my second tube my other one gone I be using it all the time. This is my second tube so far for the year and I'm just in love. This is never going anywhere without me next to it, okay, period. So now the next thing that I wanna mention, oh my God, I have so much freaking Dermalogica, is the Dermalogica Pure Night Moisturizer. As you can tell by the name, this is definitely a moisturizer that I use at nighttime. Um, only because it is rich, it is thick, it is more heavy. Um, so I don't mind using this at night. Um, it is also, it has vitamin C, cranberry and raspberry seed oils. Um, and it really is just not much but just a skin hydrating moisturizer you know what i mean like you don't need to get it but this is just what i like to use like it's just moisturizes your skin it doesn't do much else besides that the next thing that i want to mention is the claudalee vino perfect instant brightening moisturizer this moisturizer is one of those moisturizers that you didn't know you needed until you got it right so it does have a little bit of a scent to it a slight scent but it isn't bad it isn't heavy is what i mean um but it just it leaves my skin so supple it just it's a moisturizer but it leaves my skin so supple i just love the feel of this it's not as thick as the um pure night but it just helps to brighten up your skin and it helps with these discoloration as well so i like to use this at night as well the next one that i want to mention is the fresh lotus youth preserve moisturizer um this moisturizer it just does what it needs to do. It's a moisturizer, you know what I mean? Um, it does have a heavy rose scent um, that's just fresh. I just feel like fresh. I love the way it smells. I don't know if it's rose, but it just has like a floral scent to me that I rem that it reminds me of. I put this on morning, night, whenever I need moisturizer. If I wash my face three times a day, I'll put this on. Um, I just... It's something that I find myself reaching for more and more as of late. So, yes, definitely wanted to mention that to my favorites. And the last moisturizer that I want to mention is my Sound Sleep Cocoon by Dermalogica. This is nothing that I've never experienced a gel cream like this. It has lavender. It has French lavender. Um, sandalwood and patchouli. You guys should know how I feel about patchouli already if you watch my perfume video. Um, but the lavender is very heavy here. So if you don't like lavender, then this is not for you. But I love lavender. It just helps soothe me. And once you finish putting on your moisturizer and everything, I finish it off with this. And it just helps me fall asleep. It just feels amazing it smells amazing and that's kind of what it is it also helps to improve like the blood flow with all of the oils and everything of course lavender to help you know regenerate your skin and rejuvenate your skin and all of that so and it also i don't know the, i just feel like lavender just helps you fall asleep you know like there's a reason why they have lavender and eucalyptus and scents and stuff for like baths and everything because it just does what it needs to do so the next thing that i wanted to mention is my pixie detoxify um i say next thing but it is one of the last the second one i'm just gonna go ahead and pop her right on top it is the fortify by pixie as well these two eye patches i love them i love to use these stuff like right before shoots um like tomorrow i have a very very early morning shoot um and i find that my fine like my lines here why well, i can't remember the name i don't know but my lines that i have under my eyes are more deep set and set in in the morning because the rest of my face is much more swollen so i like to use these um the fortify one specifically because it has caffeine in it to help like lift up my eye you know like help make it flatten out and everything and just look more awake um and not look so swollen in the morning but yeah that is it that is the end of my skincare favorites i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want more of like my skincare favorites for particular things like when it comes to like breakouts or what i like to wear at night specifically and my skincare is for days specifically or i don't know for like just 
other things. I don't know what else. I feel like I kind of covered it. But if I didn't cover anything, if you guys want to see more skincare favorites or like monthly favorites to see what I'm adding into my skincare routine, because I do add a couple of things whenever I do add it, I can go ahead and do a video. So just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave a comment down below on what other type of videos you guys would want to see from me um, in regards to skincare or anything else. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.